Good evening, everybody. A large number of stories to track today. Coronavirus very much back in the headlines, and that after uh, Home Minister Amit Shah was admitted in Vedanta Hospital after proving to be coronavirus positive. Yedi Rupa, the Chief Minister of Karnataka, also coronavirus positive, and a number of other dignitaries. So yesterday was really one of those days where a large number of people, very prominent people, were identified as being COVID positive. So their health is leading to renewed concerns and renewed uh, focus on coronavirus and the battle against it. But there are plenty of other stories happening as well, including the latest on what's happening uh, in Kashmir. And of course, the one story that seems to be capturing a lot of uh, public attention, or well, certainly news channel space, uh, what happened with Sushant Singh Rajput. So let's quickly take you through all the big stories of the day. The Drugs Controller General of India has given a go-ahead to the Serum Institute of India for conducting Phase 2 and 3 clinical trials of COVID-19 vaccine candidate developed by the University of Oxford in the country. Government officials said that the approval for Phase 2 and 3 clinical trials was granted after a thorough evaluation based on the recommendation of experts. As a rapid regulatory response, the expert panel at the Central Drug Standard Control Organization on Friday gave the green signal after considering data from Phase 1 and 2 trials done by Oxford University. The pharma giant will perform an observer-blind, randomized controlled study with at least 1,600 participants to determine the safety and immunogenicity of the COVID Shield vaccine. Each subject will be administered two doses of vaccine four weeks apart. With nearly 53,000 new cases, the number of confirmed infections in India crossed the 18 lakh mark on Monday. As many as 771 casualties took place in the last 24 hours, pushing the death toll to 38,135. Of the 18,3696 cases, 5,79,357 are active, while 11,86,203 have been cured. After Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa tested positive for COVID-19, his daughter, personal secretary and five of his staff have also been infected. On the advice of his doctors, the 77-year-old BJP leader remains admitted to a hospital in capital Bengaluru, even though his health is fine. He is the second chief minister to test positive for COVID-19 after Shivrat Singh Chauhan in Madhya Pradesh. Yadurappa on Sunday requested all those who came into contact with him recently to be observant and exercise self-quarantine. Union Law and Information Technology Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad has gone into self-isolation as he had met Home Minister Amit Shah on Saturday evening. Shah had tested positive for the deadly coronavirus on Sunday and has been hospitalised on the advice of doctors. Prasad's office said that the minister's health was fine and he was in self-isolation as a precautionary measure. Shah had attended the Union Cabinet meet on Saturday at Prime Minister Modi's house, but reports said strict protocols were followed during the meeting. In a reprieve for Kulbush and Jadav, the Islamabad High Court on Monday deferred his case till September 3rd, as it noted that India should be given a chance to appoint a lawyer to defend the former Indian Navy commander sentenced to death for his alleged involvement in espionage. The Hindustan Times reported that the High Court, while noting that the lawyer should be a Pakistan national, instructed the Pakistan government to allow India to appoint the legal representative for Jadav in the case. The offer to appoint a lawyer for Jadav will be made through Pakistan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The former Indian Navy commander has been given a death sentence by the Pakistani military court for his alleged involvement in a spying case. The Tamil Nadu government on Monday rejected the centre's three-language formula proposed in the new national education policy and said that there will not be any deviation from the two-language policy being followed in the state. Taking strong exception to the proposal for the three-language formula in the NEP, Chief Minister K. Swami, after chairing a meeting of Cabinet colleagues at the Secretariat here, said that the policy is painful and saddening. He added that the state will continue its decades-old policy of dual language, Tamil and English. The three-language policy allows states to decide on what the third language should be, but political parties in Tamil Nadu look at this as an attempt to impose Hindi. Iqbal Ansari, who was a litigant in the Ayodhya land dispute case, has decided to gift a Ram Nami stole and a copy of the Ram Charit Manas to Prime Minister Narendra Modi when he attends the Bhumi Pujan ceremony for the Ram Temple in Ayodhya on Wednesday. His father, Hashim Ansari, the oldest litigant in the Babri Masjid Ram Janmabhumi land dispute case, died at the age of 95 in 2016, after which the son started pursuing the case in the court. Talking about Wednesday's groundbreaking ceremony to mark 
marked the beginning of the construction of a Grand Ram temple. Ansari said he think it is Lord Ram's will that he attend it. After Patna's top cop Vinay Tiwari was allegedly forcibly quarantined in Mumbai, Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar on Monday voiced strong disapproval over the behaviour. Kumar said whatever has been done to him is inappropriate and the matter has been taken up with the Maharashtra authorities. Reportedly, Tiwari, who arrived in Mumbai to lead a Bihar SIT probing Sushant Singh Rajput's death, was quarantined on arrival on Sunday. Mumbai Police Commissioner Parambir Singh on Monday said there's no question of non-cooperation with the Bihar police team, which is in the city. Commissioner of Mumbai Police Parambir Singh has said that Sushant Singh Rajput, who was found hanging at his Mumbai apartment on June 14th, had reportedly searched for keywords like painless death, schizophrenia and bipolar disorder on Google search in the last hours of his life. Revealing that these details have emerged from his laptop and phone, Singh told media the actor had done searches on his own name, as his Google searches showed he may have been worried about speculation connecting him to Disha Salyan's suicide.